can you introduce yourself? Can you say who you are and your age? Your age? Uh, my name is Ahmed Fouadgar, uh, 26 years old, diving instructor. Where were you born? Where you were grown? Where have you grown up? And how you came to Marsala? Uh, I'm born in Ismailia, but this is the canal site. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came to Marsala uh, six years ago mm -hmm. for uh, my passion. Mm -hmm. okay. Where did you Where did you start to to learn to dive? And what were What was the occasion that you started? Um, I started diving in Dahab in South Sinai and uh, this was uh, something years ago. Uh -huh. I was doing some uh, voluntary work for the National Park in uh -huh. uh -huh. and uh, that's how I came into diving and fall in this passion and started to learn the same courses from, uh, from there I started to go to my diving career. Can you tell us if there are any caves here around the uh, Red Sea coast from Mar Salam down and your experience with those caves? Yeah, there are some, uh, some explored caves and some unexplored ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can say that most of the caves in the Red Sea are not real caves as you have maybe in uh, Mexico or in Europe. It's more caverns. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we have some easy ones, mm -hmm. like in Shab Samadai, in Dolphin House, in Marsala. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's a very easy one, you can spend inside 20-25 minutes. And it's not 25 that minutes yes. in one cave? Yeah, it's not that tight. It's uh, shallow, 6 meters only depth. Uh -huh. And uh, you have light all the time inside. Uh -huh. From coming from the... From, uh, from the reef top. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, this can be a very easy one. But at the same time, you have um, quite difficult ones mm -hmm. like Om Kharareem and San Joe Reefs. Mm -hmm. And um, in this one, you can stay even longer and you have uh, more the feeling of cave diving. Mm -hmm. And again, there are uh, many caves to be explored by technical diving. Mm -hmm. Deeper. And deeper and uh, longer. Mm -hmm. Like uh, some caves in, in Dahab or in Sharm Sheikh. Mm -hmm. But in the Red Sea, yeah, it's full of treasure, it's full of uh, things to explore. Are there, are there any, um, any through caves where you can enter in, in one part and you exit in uh, the other? So that you don't have to go through the same entrance here and there? Yes, yes. But again, they are more like canyons mm -hmm. or uh, cabin. Ah, canyons. You have uh, one dive site in, in Dahab, it's called Canyon, and uh, the top starts at um, 14 meters, mm -hmm. and then you have an exit at 52, 53 meters. Oh. Uh, for technical diving, this might be an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Or like in uh, Blue Hole, but this is only like arch, that mm -hmm. you enter one side yes, and yes, you yes, come yes, from yes. the other side. Oh, it's, uh, when when the light comes uh, with the proper angle, it must be a beautiful scene. Really beautiful scene, yeah. Okay. Are there any animals which you particularly fancy uh, under underwater? Dolphins. 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 Um, white tip oceanic uh, uh -huh. shark. Uh -huh. Carcarinus longimanus. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, recently, we had in the Red Sea uh, humpback whales. I'm back way. This was a great encounter. Uh -huh. and, uh, they are very big, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> and uh, whale sharks. Uh -huh. Is it? Uh, how are you handling sharks? Uh, are you not uh, afraid of an accident? Uh, no, I believe that most of the diving accident you have, or the snorkeling accident you have with sharks, it's by mistake. By mistake. By mistake, because uh, we are not their main food. Uh -huh. Sharks, they have completely different category of food, uh -huh. and if you look at their scale, food scale, then uh -huh. you have human being as the last <laughs> thing. So they are not really interesting in us. Uh -huh. They are hot blood, they are interesting only in cold blood. Uh -huh. And they, if it happens that they attack somebody, then it's by mistake. Uh -huh. If they were uh, afraid of being cornered or... Um, 
It's the same thing with us. We are afraid of them because we don't know them. We don't know their habits. They are afraid of us because they don't know us. Uh, they don't know nothing about, about us. We have uh, maybe better chance on handling them and dealing with them because we can read about them. Mm -hmm. They can't read about us. Mm -hmm. We can uh, discover many things, but this come by learning and by reading and by dealing daily or almost daily with this uh, animals. If you respect them, they will never attack you. Uh -huh. Been diving with, uh, with Carcarinus longimanus shark, uh -huh. which is uh, considered to be one of the most dangerous sharks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we have them this close. But uh, they never attack. If you show them respect, they respect you. On your blog or website, I read uh, quite a lot interesting things and a lot of good pictures from Al, Al Shalatin. Or is it El Shalatin? Al Shalatin. Al Shalatin. Al Shalatin. Okay, uh, how did you. What was your first encounter with uh, Al Shalatin? And um, how do you like the place? Well, um, first of all, my real passion is diving, mm -hmm. but I'm also interested in everything that surrounds diving. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing, especially in the South area, is the local community. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have worked there within uh, many years. Mm -hmm. I like the culture, it's quite rich. Mm -hmm. to, to understand more and to know more about them, you have to go inside there. Yes. Uh, Souk in Al Shalatin yes, is completely different. you have to, different to drink their coffee, to talk their language, it's quite difficult. <laughs> oh, yeah? uh, and that's why I went to Shalatin. Everybody goes to Shalatin, or let's say the tourists go to Shalatin to buy herbs or to watch the camels or uh, to make uh, photos of the local community. Mm -hmm. This is also something I have done, but the main reason I went there is to, to find more about the place. Yeah. About the local community. You know, my general impression was that uh, if you want to feel the African side of even Egypt, not the Mediterranean one, you have to go to Al Salatat. Yes. Because the, the desert starts there, open space, and yeah. it's so much different. What is your favorite spot? On the on the left. diving spot. I mean. Diving spot. Yes. Mm. Probably there are many, but probably one is you like more than the other. Um, Elfinstone Reef. Elfinstone Reef. Uh -huh. uh, how does it look? What's so special about it? It's a offshore reef. Offshore reef. Uh -huh. uh, almost one mile away from uh, from the coast, from the coast, and uh, it's quite uh, beautiful because it offers many many possibilities. Mm -hmm. You have always surprises there. Um, certain seasons you have uh, hammer head sharks. Uh -huh. Other months you have zalungimanos. Uh -huh. Very often you see dolphins. Uh -huh. uh, maybe whale shark, mantas, big. Fishes and the coral reef is also beautiful. Mm -hmm. It has uh, no uh, shallow bottom like most of the dive sites where you can see the bottom. Mm -hmm. In Elfinstone, the bottom starts at 100, 110 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like cake or banana. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there are endless possibilities to dive there. Mm -hmm. Strong currents. And, yeah. Which time of the year is the best to, to dive? Yeah. In the Red Sea? Yeah. All year long? All year round? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. There is no time where with uh, bad weather or big waves or... Yeah, but uh, we can't say in summer it's perfect because in summer you get many days where you have poor visibility also. Poor visibility? Yes. Um, ah, yeah, because the sea temperature is... That he, that he sea temperature is high or the season of the plankton. Or uh -huh. You can't say uh, winter is better because uh, sometimes in winter you have uh, too much clouds and windy weather, rough uh -huh. sea. We can't even touch right. the water. Yeah, then, uh, we would say all year round because uh, okay. yeah, it's always possible to dive uh -huh. in the Red Sea. What are the sea temperatures in winter and in the summer? In the winter you have... Uh, from 19 to 23, 
to bend it. In the summer, it never goes higher than 29. 29? 29 degrees. Oh, yeah. 28, 29. In shallow places, you can have also 30, 31. But in very shallow places. Yeah, yes, I yeah. understand. Okay. Do you live, where do you live actually now? In Marsala. In Marsala. And how do you like it? You enjoy the place? Yes, I do. Not only diving? I do. Uh, let's be honest, most of my friends and family members or whatever, they don't like it because it's like isolated place. Yes. And there isn't so much uh, to do out of uh, diving activity. How but far uh, is it from Ismailia? It is uh, 10 hours from Cairo. It's uh, almost uh, 800 uh, kilometers. To Ismailia. It's then more than 10 hours, huh? Yeah. 12 or so. Do you, uh, how often do you go uh, to Ismailia? Twice a year? Twice a year. Yeah. Oh yes, that's a good figure. Your parents must be very happy when you come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a large family? Are you coming from a large family? The whole family is a big family, yes. But yes. Uh, my own family, Yes. Uh, we are the, my parents, uh -huh. myself, and I have three sisters, younger than oh. me. Oh, it means you are the top of the family, so to say. <laughs> it's always nice. Okay, I hope you will enjoy diving as you do it now, and I was very glad to meet you.